Hello, I'm Robert Hitt. This is going to be the first in a series of instructional videos that we're going to uh, show you. Uh, what I want to do is get all the traders up to speed on exactly how the astro clock works, what we need to pay attention to during the day. As we're going to look at the big screen. We're going to be watching the uh, daily aspects using the astro clock, moving one day at a time. You're going to be able to see how the flavor of the day changes every day and you'll be able to see the movement of the planets on a daily basis and how the aspects or angles between each planet come and go which changes the psychology that we're dealing with every day. What we have here is a solar fire astro clock. I have this astro clock set to my parameters. The lines that you see on the inner circle are the angles between one planet and another. In this case Uranus and Saturn would be at 180 degree angle. The green lines are easy, soft aspects, harmonizing the energies between one planet and another. The red lines are stress aspects, which cause problems. For us trading these markets, we're going to be concentrating more on the problem areas, which are the hard aspects, the red angles. Uh, to uh, find opportunities in the market. Uh, the first thing we have to do is define the planets. The planets are more or less the actor in the drama and the sign position that the planet is in, in other words the section of space, be it Pisces or Sagittarius or Virgo, that defines the role. So when we're looking at each planet we have a specific um, definition of what it is that this planet does. On this chart you have the Sun, which is the consciousness, the awareness, the point of view. You have the Moon, which is the mood, the feeling, the underlying emotion uh, on a, an unconscious level. Uh, so you have the two lights being conscious and unconscious. Then you have Mercury, which is the mental processes, the rational mind. Venus is a sense of self-worth and in our trading regimens we're looking at Venus as a value-oriented uh, sign. Uh, Mercury would be more or less news communication. Mars is the fight or flight instinct, the sense of panic or aggression. Uh, Jupiter would be expansiveness, wealth, wisdom, or excessiveness in an inflationary, uh, hopeful, uh, too optimistic uh, sense. Um, Saturn is the sense of restraint or fear. When we're dealing with planets, the angles between them are defining the relationship between those particular planets. The 90, 180, and 0 degree angles are considered hard angles. They tend to create stress and, and mistakes. The soft angles are 60 and 120. They tend to produce harmony and they're much less effective at moving markets. So we concentrate mostly on who's making mistakes because that's where we make our money. We have today on February 22nd when we're filming this at 8.30 in the morning uh, this is a picture of what is exact uh, on this day. Uh, Venus has just risen above the uh, horizon it's just rising. That's Venus, Uranus, Sun, Neptune, Mars, Jupiter, Mercury, the Moon, Pluto, and Saturn. One thing I want to do is I want to put this chart into motion over a period of a few months and we're just going to animate this and so you're going to be able to see how the relationships between these planets change every day. Uh, one day you've got an emphasis on something stressful or negative, the next day everything is happy, everybody is uh, uh, 
uh, wanting to buy and be optimistic, then the next day you have this change, you have news items, the various things that cause uh, uh, people to react, and uh, you will be able to see as this thing goes in motion uh, how these angles are changing every day. We are starting at February 22nd, 2009. This is a picture of exactly where the planets are located at 8.30 in the morning, and we're using a Chicago location, which is what we're going to be trading off of. I concentrate on Chicago myself. Uh, this is the location of all the planets at 8.30 in the morning. The angles that we're looking at are Saturn and Uranus, and Venus and uh, uh, Jupiter. Uh, we're also looking at Sun and Pluto uh, having angular relationships to each other. Now when we put this in motion we're going to look at the next day. The Moon has moved. It's closer to the Sun. We're getting very close to the new Moon. The next day is actually the day of the new moon. You can see the moon and sun are uh, passing you know, over the same location. Uh, if we keep going, you can see the planets are moving and this inner field right here is showing you the difference between one angle and another. Now there you go, that's a very uh, exact angle that uh, is occurring on March 2nd. That is the Moon and that's 90 degrees to Mars and Mercury. This would be an important thing for us to keep in mind for our trading on that particular day. We're starting at February 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, March 1, March 2, March 3, March 4, March 5, March 6, March 7th, March 8th. We have a full moon coming up. You've got Sun and Saturn stress getting stronger. The moon is moving into an opposition to the Sun, which is what a full moon is. It's when moon is opposite Sun. So in a few days all of a sudden, there it is. Sun and Moon opposed. Moon will be conjunct Saturn. Sun, which is consciousness, is then conjuncting Uranus. And Uranus is a chaotic, unexpected change element. And I would certainly expect March 10th to be very tense, very interesting. I'm already on record on the website in the writing as uh, pointing out that we could have a potential terrorist problem during this time. March 11th, we are now past the full moon when the moon is moved past the opposition to the sun. Uh, the, full, the full moon is usually a climactic uh, couple of days of uh, higher emotion, of course, uh, everybody's heard the stories about the bar fights and the police arresting people because it, it definitely is a higher emotive element uh, that the public is affected by. Uh, in trading, we would expect more violent move and volatility around full moons. What we've done uh, so far today is we've gone over the planets, what they mean, what the symbols are, what that inner part of the chart means. We've and, gone over uh, the planets and the aspects and how they change every day. The next uh, segment of our lesson series is going to involve looking at the daily motion of the planets through the sky on a 24-hour basis. I can put this in motion, and this is a 20-minute uh, segment, and you can see the sun is rising. It's getting close to noon. There we are. Sun's high in the sky. Moon is in front of the sun. The moon is getting ready to set. Now the sun is getting ready to set. 
and there you go. That's your daylight uh, period of time on February 22nd. This is Robert Hitt. I'll see you next week for our next lesson. Thank you.